there fellow collectors welcome back for episode eight of sneak peek i am your solo host for the night the evil sneaker i see some people already in the chat thank you guys so much for joining me on this friday night uh i don't know why my countdown at the beginning of the uh stream started playing on loop but it kept going on loop so i apologize for that but we are here. It is Friday. We got an announcement from Hot Toys. I'm excited to talk about it. We got some good stuff to talk about tonight. We are going to be talking about, obviously, the Anakin Skywalker that was revealed from the Ahsoka TV show in the flashback. We are going to also be talking about In Our Batman, which obviously is a hot, hot topic right now. And then, what else? Uh, Star Wars Dark Side, because, you know, we had the teaser last week we talked about, and now we got the newest teaser with the actual poster with all these figures on it so we'll talk about that and then uh i'm gonna address the uh members only q a that i have on my youtube channel so every week i post a community a uh, little community um post on there on my youtube channel for channel members to send their questions for members only q a uh towards uh the tail end of the show so we'll be getting to that I got some great questions this week i'm excited to talk about those and hear your guys thoughts as well in the chat so we'll talk about those um and yeah man i'm excited i'm excited to talk about it so thank you all for being here we got 18 in the house already please please hit that like button on your way in to the show and i uh, hope you all enjoy the show tonight let's get into it and address the chat right off the bat we have grand admiral cage himself saying evening everyone hello there emoji hope you all are well what is up grand admiral cage thank you so much for being here bro and for being a grand admiral on the channel we have three grand admirals now if you saw my starting soon screen so cage was the first grand admiral on the channel and now we have two more grand admiral mark attack and grand admiral reese aka the mall fiend so thank you guys so much um if you're interested in becoming a grand admiral you can update your tier uh in the evil empire but thank you so much cage for being here man uh sorry grand admiral cage really appreciate you bro we got another channel member action in the box says good evening happy weekend people all the way from brazil we got ricardo what's up bro thank you so much for being here as always we got thrawn's office another channel member saying hello to the people what up to thank you so much for being here bro we got primetime reviews in the house he says let's go yes bro i'm excited i'm excited for this one excited to uh do a solo show and talk about some of the stuff tonight it's gonna be an exciting one so thank you so much for being here man uh we got batman collectibles in the house saying the batman review dropped tomorrow yes yes i plan on dropping my batman review tomorrow i'm actually probably going to work on it a little bit after the show tonight and then hope i'm hoping to finish up tomorrow sometime in hopefully the afternoon and we'll get that out before uh yeah before the evening time so probably sometime late afternoon tomorrow but um yes thank you thank you for being here bro always good to see you on the show the batman review is coming everybody it's coming uh let's see we got brad cormack saying hello everyone with the hello there emoji love it when chat's using these emojis brad what's up dude thank you so much for being here man i've been enjoying our chats together there he is we got the grand admiral mark in here long live the empire yes bro yes let's go let's go cage with the emojis we got christian cooper in the house he says hey steve what's up christian someone get this man a crosshair please somebody get this man a crosshair at a at a a fair price <laughs> that's not an aftermarket price please please uh that would be awesome but christian thank you so much for being here as always bro we got channel member aj grusa in the house he says greeting friends hope all is well hope all is well with you bro thank you so much for tuning into the show we got nick in here nick's collectible says sup y'all i'm super jealous nick is going to wrestle mania this weekend man i'm so jealous but i hope you have a great time bro thank you so much for tuning in to the friday show before the uh, madness starts tomorrow for wrestlemania man we got adrian cervantes in the house he says what up sneaker what's up adrian thank you so much for being here as always bro i always wonder do you also collect shoes <laughs> so i actually used to collect shoes i got out of that a while ago yeah it's been some years uh but no i don't i don't anymore but i used to uh be a sneakerhead no pun intended uh grand admiral mark says i'm quite jealous of sneakers beard not gonna lie yes got the good beard going right now got it got i gotta clean it up a little bit this weekend but uh thank you bro appreciate it appreciate it um <laughs> he says i might take over as emperor whoa slow your roll bro so slow your roll Uh, 
uh, looking at my, um, hold on one second. What the heck is going on with my, you guys see me? You guys should be able to see me. Um, no, but anyways, what I was saying, for some reason I, I had my stream pulled up and I couldn't, uh, couldn't, didn't uh, see anything on my end. So now I can see myself. But anyways, no, Batman, uh, Batman's Collectibles, you did not spoil anything. I put up that post on my uh, community post uh, talking about um, <laughs> Bro Tinder or Force Ghost. So my camera did go out for a second. Yes, I don't know why that happened. I don't know why that happened. Uh, very weird. Very weird. But um, I'm back. Um, anyways, back to what I was saying for like the fourth time. I did post some teasers that this Batman review is coming. So no worries, man. No worries. Yes, using those emojis. Yes, get this man across there. Please, please. AJ Agrusa just upgraded their membership. My man, Grand Admiral AJ in the house. Let's go, bro. The fourth Grand Admiral. I wasn't thinking, I didn't, you know, really didn't think uh, anybody, I, like, I didn't know if anybody would really like want to, you know, join up as a Grand Admiral, but. I thought it was a really fun idea, so I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Um, but AJ, thank you. Or shall I say Grand Admiral AJ? Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I'll be getting your up or you getting that updated uh end of stream shout out uh with your name as a Grand Admiral. So thank you so much, bro. Really, really appreciate the support. Uh and uh thanks so much for the upgrade. <laughs> yeah, this is still cracking me up. Um Let's see. Adrian says, can't wait to see the Batman review. Yeah, it's it took me a long time to film. It was a long, long time to film. Like it was almost three hours just for me to film everything because I opened up the box. I'm like, damn, there's a lot here. So it's just a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm uh, I'm excited to get the review out. Like I said, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow. That's my plan. That's my plan. If not tomorrow, it'll definitely be by the end of the weekend. 100% uh, barring any unforeseen circumstances with tomorrow. But we'll see. Then Adrian says, my Batman on Signal come Monday. Yes, dude. Nice. It's a great set. It's a really awesome set. It is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sure you will. Sure you will enjoy it. It just says, uh, Grand Admiral. It just says, glad to support. Yeah. Thank you so much, bro. Really, really appreciate it. Um, so before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out, as always, to Underground Figures. If you guys haven't already, go check out undergroundfigures.net, where Brad got his Batman today from Underground Figures um but check them out you get double box shipping free of charges five percent off sideshows msrp and you probably don't have to pay any tax also what's great about it is if you make an account on their website you are eligible for no nrd pre-orders and you can simply email underground figures and say hey i want to pre-order this and you'll be invoiced when it ships you don't have to put any money down something that i love so shout out to ray at underground figures dude's awesome great customer service Go check out Underground Figures. I know a lot of you in the chat have already been. I know like a lot of you have bought stuff from there already, which is awesome. Awesome. I'm hoping to be able to do uh, some more giveaways involving them in the future as we inch closer and closer to 1K. So that's another thing. We're getting close to 1K. I'm almost like to 7. I think I'm close to 750 or something right now. I forget exactly what I'm at, but there will be another fun giveaway at 1K. It's going to be awesome. So uh, yeah. I'm excited for that. Climbing to 1K. Very, very excited about that. But uh, yeah, go check out Underground Figures. We got another channel member in the house, Cylon. He says, hi, Steve, with the hello there emoji. What's up, bro? Thank you so much, Cylon, for tuning in. Brad says, gotta love Ray. No doubt, man. No, no doubt. Okay, guys, let's get into the first thing here. Um, and you guys can let me know. I think I, I uh, started up some music on my end. It should be working. Um. You can let me know if you don't hear any music. And before I get switched over to talk about this Anakin Skywalker, we got Grand Admiral Reese, the mall fiend, saying, what's up, nerds? What is up, bro? Thank you so much for the support and for tuning in to the show tonight. Always good to see you, man. Um, and I'm really excited because I talked about it last stream, but really excited for the Star Wars marathon that we're going to in the theater on May the 3rd and 4th long marathon nine movie marathon it's gonna be awesome bro really excited to uh, be going with you and we got miami's nemesis in the house as well what's up bro cheers to you as well thank you so much for tuning into the show man good to see you as always okay let's transition myself over here we should be able to see and i think you guys should still be also able to see yourselves in chat as well 
I like to keep the chat messages up on the screen just uh, so I can see some stuff from that end too. Um, but okay. So we got this announcement, which for me, yeah, basically like when I, I think when we talked about when we saw the young Ahsoka reveal where they showed the, uh, the, like the photo of teasing the Anakin, like it was a pretty, like they redid the outfit. They changed all like, you know, they redid the outfit. The hair was a lot different. People were talking about it being rooted. I will say I called it being sculpted. <laughs> I was like, I don't think this is rooted. I don't see them to, for them to root. This it doesn't really make any sense. But one thing I will say right off the bat too, this hair it literally like from the distance i'm looking at it right now on my computer screen kind of zoomed out it looks almost rooted because it's so good like hot toys has incredible sculpting ability for the hair this is just like it looks like it looks like it could be real hair from you know this distance it's crazy so hair wise yeah the, the sculpted hair looks looks incredible we got the movie canon in the house. Another channel member, he says, hello, collectors. What's up, Gio? Thank you so much, bro, for tuning into the show. And we got Low Key Collector, who was just on, uh, on with us last week on Wolfpack Wednesday. He says, what's up, everyone? Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you, brother. Thank you so much for tuning into the show, man. Just started talking about Anakin Skywalker. So, so starting off here, there are a, <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, similar to every time a release comes up. There's always, um, there's always some people who just don't like, uh, what figures look like every time. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. No, oh, I don't want to do that. There we go. Um, let me make sure this looks good. We should be good. Yeah. There's always people who, who, uh, you know, always, always people who don't like it, but which is fine. I uh, respect everybody's opinion. Everybody's opinion on this figure is welcome in here, by the way. So if you don't like this figure, let me know. Um, and before I actually start talking about, it, I'm actually going to do a poll. Do you, are you going to be going to get this Anakin? Are you going to get this Anakin is the poll. Um, so let me get, let me know. But while, as I'm talking about, it, you guys can vote. We got 32 people in the house. Y'all please hit that like button, please, please. The amount of people getting in here are climbing as I stream on a weekly basis. So love seeing you all in here. Please hit that like button. It helps uh, helps me out. Helps me uh, battle the YouTube algorithm. So please, uh, yes, please hit that like button. Um, okay, so like I was saying, the, uh, the internet was kind of going crazy with this one. There's actually some really funny stuff too. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, I've seen some funny memes and just some funny pictures because yeah, just a lot of stuff. So, um, I think, uh, I think the sculpt is excellent. I think this is a great likeness to Hayden Christensen, to be honest. Um, I know a lot of people are saying otherwise a lot, of, it's kind of been split. I feel like, but I think they, I think the sculpt is excellent. I think for what, looking at what this is. This isn't just another Anakin Clone Wars upgrade figure. Like it's not just, that's not what it is. It's not just like an upgrade of the recent, like the previously released one. This is one that's um, for the movie in particular, or I'm sorry, not the movie, the show for the Ahsoka show <clears throat> in particular. Obviously it's Hayden Christensen and they tried to like de-age him to the best of their ability to make him kind of look younger, but he definitely looks older. And this expression is from this scene when he's talking to Ahsoka and educating her and being a teacher. Like, that's what I think of in this is like, this figure is from that and from being like, yeah, the teacher, um, the teacher of Ahsoka. You know what I mean? Um, hold on one second. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's kind of my thought on it. I think this expression is perfect, perfect for what they're going for with the show, with the show in this version of, uh, of Anakin. Let me see. We got some other people that dropped in here. Jose, what's up, bro? He says, hello, everyone. What's up, Jose? Thank you so much for tuning in, bro. Jose, the two time lucky 
recipient of a gifted channel membership, which is now expired. I'm sorry, Jose. I'm sorry, bro. Um, but hey, great to see you in here, man. As always, really, uh, really cool dude. And I did a, my last episode of Collector Tour was with Jose. Just a really cool dude. Uh, appreciate you being in here as always, man. I've enjoyed talking with you as well. <clears throat> uh, Thrawn's office says, thanks for keeping my wife and I entertain while we assemble furniture. Nice, dude. Nice. I love it. I love it. Um, AJ says the sculpted, I'm sorry, Grand Admiral AJ says the sculpted detail is absolutely fantastic on this next level. It really is. It really is, man. It really is. Mark says, uh, Grand Admiral. I got to get used to calling people Grand Admiral. It's crazy. Me when I see another a Anakin figure. I'm tired, boss. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy how many Anakins are coming out. There's a lot of Anakins coming out this, like this year into next. Um, so it's crazy. Uh, Grand Admiral Reese says, it's such a soft expression. Very appropriate for his disposition in the Ahsoka series. Exactly. Exactly. 100%. We got Toy Collector in the house. What's up, Toy Collector? He says, not for me. I already have the Clone Wars version. Happy with that one. Looks great, though. Yeah, I no knocking that. That's another thing. I know I'm sure there's people who have the, you know, the um, the one from Clone Wars and are going to be totally fine with that 100%. Uh, I would think that's going to be a decent a decent amount of people. Um, yeah, 100%. Uh, let's see. We got Collector Joey in the house. Another channel member, a good friend of mine, says, hello, hello, my friends. With the emojis. What's up, Joey? Thank you so much for tuning in, bro. Really appreciate you being here, man. Uh, and we got Doc Bat in the house saying happy Friday, y'all. What's up, Doc Bat? Thank you so much for tuning into the show as well, man. Good to see you in here as always. So let's go through some of these pictures. Yeah, like I said, the sculpt, I think the sculpt is, for what they're going for, the moment in the show, the sculpt is good, like for that reason. But what I think is the sculpt also, it kind of limits your ability to do different things things with it not that that's a like i don't really care too much about that but this when i look at this this isn't one where i look at this being like a combat sculptor like him fighting right but what i do look at this is that like you could use this as him training uh like a training scene with him and ahsoka you know that's kind of what like this is this picture is super dope right here i love this i think this is cool and like if you had them like standing kind of facing each other a little bit like or like I think about this being in like a module case where they're like they're staggered a little bit or, or spaced out a little bit facing each other you could do like a really cool training pose with them i think that is really cool i just wouldn't really necessarily use him as like a combat style uh outside of training like him actually fighting because i don't think that's the expression which is fine with me it's fine with me we got another channel member in the house a fellow wolfpack brother and the jedi knights watch what's up graham he says happy friday everyone what's up dude thank you so much for being here smashing that strength emoji bro thank you thank you so much man for tuning into the show on this friday evening um but yeah like i was saying i think training wise it looks it looks really cool i really wish we could get this i really really wish we could get this uh this table this is so cool I love this. I love this. Now I need to get, um, now I need to get this Captain Rex. Yeah, I'm going to definitely be, I'm going to end up picking up this Captain, this phase so I can get a phase one Rex. No doubt. No doubt. Um, oh boy. We got Thrawn's office just upgraded their membership to Grand Admiral. Let's go, bro. And then I just see the smash in this grail. I couldn't resist having my proper title. Dude, I'm going to just have to call. I think I'm just going to, I don't, well, how do you want me to address you? Grand Admiral what? What should I say? I can't just say like Grand Admiral Thrawn's office. I got to say like, you can let me know. You can let me know how you want to be addressed, man. You can, uh, you can let me know, man. But uh, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate the support, man. Good friend of mine. I uh, really just appreciate your support of, uh, of the channel as always, dude. But um, yeah, that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Grand Admiral Mark says, damn, so many Grand Admirals. I hope I don't get, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll never get tired of saying it now. You know, it's awesome. Awesome. Really appreciate you guys. Um, <laughs> Grand Admiral Thrawn's office. Oh, <laughs> Grand Litter. Grand Litter is... <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, <laughs> Grand Admiral Mike Paws Litterus. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Um... Jose says, if you have the 1.0 Clone Wars Anakin, 
do you think you should switch it up for this one, Steve? I'm keeping both, to be honest. So my plan is I'm going to have, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have this one in the, on my Ahsoka. So like I'm getting, I'm like, all, I, I don't know if I'm going to go all in on Ahsoka pretty much. I mean, I'm almost already there. So I'm likely going to have my other one displayed separately from this one with this one either going on the ahsoka shelf so it depends on if you want more than one um i don't know if yeah it really depends on if you want more than one figure if you only want one and you already have the other one i don't know that's kind of up to you on what representation you want do you want kind of the tv like the tv show kind of like the one that the made up representation of it how they made it or do you want actual flashback liking it more accurate likeness of hayden christensen i think that's really what it boils down to so i would say really it's like should you switch it up it really comes down to your preference it really comes down to your preference to be honest um let's see here <laughs> thrones all right uh, grand Ad grand admiral mike paused literus <laughs> says i really can't go wrong with any of the suggestions well you can let me know bro uh, Mark says, who are you putting Clone Wars Kenobi with? I'm likely going to put my Clone Wars Kenobi with the first iteration of this figure for now until I get this one in hand and we'll see, you know, we'll see how it looks. But um, I, the Clone Wars, the, the initial Clone, Clone Wars one looks really good in the Clone Wars display. Um, this one, like I said, is more of, I think, I look at this more of like the teacher. I don't know necessarily that I need him displayed with like a bunch of clones. I really just want him next to young Ahsoka. You know what I mean? So I'm going to keep my my OG for sure. Um, and, and I might just put Clone Wars Kenobi in with him and then have have all of them, um, have all those like just stay together and then have this one separate, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I cannot wait. Cannot wait for Clone Wars Kenobi. Man. Going to be dope. Going to be dope. <clears throat> uh... Jedi Knight's watch says, I don't think it's worth it. I'm leaning on keeping my OG. Yeah, I can see a lot of people doing that, like I said. Like I said, which is which is completely fair. It's really hard when, like, really the main thing you're like, I know I understand you're getting updates and it's looking like it's more live action-y. But the head sculpt is really like the main thing. So I could just see a lot of people not upgrading. It's a it's a the price on this is 270, right? Or no, 265. So like that's a that's a you know big ask for people who already have this have this uh figure so yep we got grand admiral reese dropping this ten dollar super chat bro thank you so much man really appreciate your support you know not only as a you know watching the channel but also as a friend too man really enjoy talking with you um but he says the rex is the real grail of this lineup it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this rex figure man um but every the more that i see it the more that i want it uh yeah it's uh looks it looks it looks really good in this photo um for sure but thank you so much for the ten dollar super chat which means that you get a roll of the super wheel so we gotta switch over real quick thank you so much for the super chat bro we are gonna roll this super wheel let me uh let me get to this wheel hold on hold on Okay, here we go. We're going to spin. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Use deep voice for two minutes. Okay, okay. Let me put the deep voice on. You guys can confirm for me. Or I can try to confirm myself. Oh, great times. Great times. Okay. Let me make sure this works. Test, 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 test. Oh, it's working. It's working. Okay, let me start my timer on my phone for two minutes. Okay, two minutes. Okay, let me just uh, talk a little bit more about the figure here as we go. Hopefully you guys can hear my deep voice now that, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, well-deserved two-minute time for Grand Admiral Reese. Thank you so much, bro. Uh, we got a couple more people dropping in the chat. We got MB Dyson, A29. What up, all? What's up, MB Dyson? Thank you so much for tuning into the show. As always, good to see you in here. We got Stacy in the house. Says, good evening, guys. Hope you're all having a great Friday. I am. I'm so happy it's the weekend. Uh, super excited for WrestleMania this weekend. 
We got Clinton Martin in the house. Well, what's up, Clinton? This is a new name. I don't think I've seen you in any of my shows, but thank you so much for stopping in. 38 in the house. Please hit that like button if you have not already. Would really, really appreciate it. Um, Mark, Grand Admiral Mark says, I can see people just trying to buy the head sculpt. I agree. I agree. Uh, Batman Collectible says, 1.0 with Clone Wars Obi. This Annie with young Ahsoka. Problem solved. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that that's good. That's fine. That's probably, like I said, probably how I'm going to do it. Um, Nick says, I walked away, came back, and now Darth Vader's running the show. Yeah, bro. Had to get that deep voice. We did a sub. So somebody gives me a super chat. I roll the super wheel. You never know. Never know what you're going to get on the super wheel. This is it. This is it. Um, Marcus, this is Steve's voice after being witness protection for burning a Lando figure. I sent him. Oh, oh, brother. Oh, brother. <laughs> I don't think I could ever burn a figure. That would be crazy. It'd be crazy to burn a figure, but I do, I do at some point need to get a Lando. We'll see. We'll see. Um, okay, let's continue here. So like I said, this looks really dope. I really wish we could get a table like this. Like Hot Toys needs to do like accessory packs or something. That'd be so awesome. That would be so dope. Uh, this looks really good, man. I, I like how this looks. Like, this is a cool training style pose. You know what I mean? Um, I, I think that that's where it's at. I'm not going to put him in a combat pose. So I would put it, this is like training, training style to me. Look at that. Two minutes. Wow, that was a fast two minutes. There you go. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much uh, to Grand Admiral Reese, aka the Mall Fiend, for the super chat. We got Caleb Collects in the house. He says, What's up? What's up, bro? Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, can we get a Hulk Hogan? No, no. Emmy Dyson is putting in lots of zeros. I don't know what the zeros are about, but uh, you can let me know if you want to elaborate. Uh, Bones is in the house. What's up, Bones? Thank you for tuning into the show. It says the face expression is so bad. Yeah, fair. Yeah, I can see like, I know there's some people who don't like the sculpt. I personally am fine with it. I think it matches the expression of Anakin being a teacher. So I'm fine with it. Uh, but I can see why like some people don't want, like I know some people really want like a, neutral sculpt or more of like an angry sculpt anakin or something like so they can use it to pose or just something that's not this so i get it i understand why people don't like it but personally for me i'm happy with it caleb says got my dx vader in just in time for dark side month dude nice nice um that's awesome man so yeah like i like this i think this photo like this type of pose is really cool and he says, I was cleaning my keyboard. It was accidental. <laughs> Love it, bro. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Um, Let's see. So I probably wouldn't do like a pose like this. But yeah, like when I see these, I just think of like, uh, I just think of like him doing something like a training thing, you know? Uh, Danny Spotchka's in the house. Another channel member of the Evil Empire. He says, this hits us all with that strength emoji. What's up, bro? Thank you so much for being here. Good to see you as always. Go check out Danny Spotchka, man. He's doing some cool stuff. His Batman, he's got a Batman collection video up that's doing really well. Go check that out. Super dope. And he just dropped a top 10 uh, DC lineup on his channel. So go check out Danny Spotchka. Um, Grand Admiral Marcus, I'm out. I'm falling asleep. Bro, go get some rest, man. You can always just uh, catch replay, but appreciate the support, dude. Go get some sleep, man. I know it's late. I know it's late over there where you're at. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, go get some sleep, man. We got channel member Gambit Rodriguez in the house. Says, cheers. What's up, bro? Cheers. Happy Friday to you, man. Good to see you. Good to see you in here. Uh, Caleb says, DX Vader restarts my Hot Toys collection. More figures to come. Nice. Congrats, man. That's exciting. That's real exciting. Um, Grand Admiral Mark, have a great night, bro. Thank you so much. Grand Admiral AJ says, I think they should have done two sculpts. It just doesn't fit for action at all. I like it a lot for non-action poses. I agree. I like it a lot for non-action. I think that's what it's going to be. Um, could they have done a second one or a different, yeah, another head for doing something different? Yep, potentially. I think that could have that, that could have been cool. But this looks, this is such a good likeness. Like, I see a lot of people say, uh, you know, I've seen some people saying it doesn't look like Hayden Christensen at all. I just, I don't know. I, I, I can't agree with that. It just looks, yeah, this is, this is like spot on to what he looks like in the show, in the Ahsoka show. If you go back and look, you know, looks, looks a lot, a lot, a lot like him. Christian Cooper says, are you getting this figure, Steve? Yes, I am going to be getting this. 
because I think, um, yeah, like I'm gonna get the young Ahsoka. I have to get this figure with young Ahsoka personally. Um, it just really, like I've always said, Clone Wars is just so critical to me as star like a star wars fan and just like how much you know the arc of ahsoka and anakin being you know with her being his padawan and just like the flashback and how important of a scene it was to finally get that flashback and remember like i remember how hyped the community was if you know about clone wars and um just seeing the flashback and getting this like it's something that yeah i gotta have in the collection gotta have in the collection um Gotta have it. Uh, Caleb says, 100% accurate in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stacy says, this one is a pass for me as it's close to the Clone Wars Anakin. And I'm not crazy about the head sculpt. Yeah, so I think that's part of it. That's um, that's part of it for sure. Uh, Danny Spotchka says, uh, unironically, this Anakin looks most like Hayden Christensen to me. Yeah, this is like probably the one, this is the one Anakin we've gotten that looks the most like Hayden. I would say besides the artist and Anakin that's coming out, like it looks just like him being de-aged in the Ahsoka show and his likeness. Like he kind of looks like this all the time. He kind of looks like that. Even if like now, even without being like kind of de-aged with makeup on and stuff, he looks like this with this expression, like in real life a lot too. Um, so yeah, I, I think they nailed the likeness for sure. Clinton Martin says this looks great, but kind of reminds me of Topher Grace. <laughs> yeah. He actually does. That, that's funny. That he actually does kind of look like him. Um, Christian says you have the Clone Wars Anakin too, right? I do. I do. Um, I think the Clone. I think the Clone Wars Anakin one is really cool. Really cool. Um, for sure. Uh, Grand, Grand Admiral Reese says it looks exactly like the D.H. Hayden from Ahsoka. Yeah, I agree, bro. I agree. <laughs> I mean, Dice says, flashing those puppy dog eyes is not going to make me buy you, Anakin, so knock it off. That's all the things. Like, yeah, people, it looks like he has, like, this, like, kind of, yeah, like, people are saying, like, um, yeah, puppy dog eyes or, like, yeah, what, like, uh, this, like, kind of innocent, like, look on his face and just, like, kind of like he's going to cry a little bit, too, so... Yeah, I get it, but I think it matches, like I said, the scene, but I think it's uh, it's funny seeing the stuff that's been, that's kind of been posted. Um, Adrian says, the only Anakin I, I want is Revenge of the Sith. Can't blame you on that one. Dark side, yeah, can't blame you. Um, Jose, I did a poll on my page. He's plugging his page. That's fine, bro. That's fine, of course. And the results were kind of surprising. I said, keep or get the new one, and it was like 80-20, 80, 80, keep the OG. I see a lot of people keeping the OG in this one. A lot of people keeping the OG. Um, Cairo's in the house. What's up, Cairo? He says, "Dark side Anakin for the win." Yeah, great. Yeah, Dark side Anakin, Anakin is a uh, is a great, great figure. Great figure that will probably be revisited. Everybody w wants that that figure, and we cross forty in the house. We got forty one in here, y'all. Please, please hit that like button if you haven't already, and welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. If you're new here, you can always uh, drop something in the chat. Would love to uh, get your thoughts on this Anakin here. Uh, Caleb says, uh, in the Padawan Ahsoka photos, this figure looks, looks like it had rooted hair. Yeah, I know a lot of people thought it had rooted hair. I was one of the people who said, I think it's sculpted. I don't really think it's rooted. Um, but the I can see why, because the hair is so good. Like like I was mentioning initially, this hair is like on point. It doesn't even look like it's... Um, it doesn't even look like it's sculpted in some of these photos. It's crazy. Crazy. Um so we got these blaster effects. Did I did it show that in any of these other ones? I don't think so. So we got these lightsaber blaster effects. This is super dope, man. I think like having like Hot Toys just needs to keep innovating. This is cool. This is cool having like these lightsaber blaster effects. And now like this these better be included in all the in uh in all the lightsaber figures. Like every character that comes with a lightsaber, I'm going to now want these. Um because these are pretty these are actually pretty cool. So I'm I'm happy like yeah keep giving us new stuff like this that we haven't seen I think that's a cool addition. Um, also we get the sand base. Fine, it is accurate to like the the sand base is accurate to what the show, um, you know what the show was. So 
can't really knock them for doing it, but it's just, yeah, the sand bases. Uh, not my favorite, not a lot of people's favorites, but is what it is. Um, so yeah, this, this, all this stuff all looks good. The, the figure in and of itself is pretty simple, you know, like with his clothing and stuff, it's nothing crazy. And like, obviously some of this stuff is going to be reused from the first one. So that's another thing. It's a really easy, really easy figure for them to do. The main thing is going to be like, I know they retooled the belt a little bit and, um, it's just, it's going to look very similar. This is the pose for me when I was going through the photos, this is the one where I thought um that it looked the most like kind of the this this is what the representation of the character is for me with this head sculpt with the expression it's just him like teaching ahsoka stuff right and talking to her and this is the one this is a pose i could see putting in uh in my collection like this i think this is uh this is like a teacher he's a teacher right Trying to teach her a lot at that time in a crazy time. We got Darren 2501 in the house. What's up, Darren? Another new name in the chat. Thank you and welcome in. He says, this Anakin's a dopo for me. Nice. Congratulations. Congratulations. I do know a few people who day one pre-ordered this. So congrats. It's awesome. I'm going to pre-order it. I didn't pre-order it yet, but I'm going to end up pre-ordering it. I will end up doing that. Just haven't yet. Stacy says, I do like the lightsaber deflecting effect. So yeah, I agree. I agree. Adrian says, it does look rooted. Caleb says, but the DX Vader, yeah, yeah, I know. The DX Vader, mine hopefully will be uh, coming in soon. I am very excited. Cannot wait for that, hopefully. Very, very soon. Um, collection of Sessions in the house. Another channel member. Hello there. I'm late. What did I miss? You didn't miss too much. You really didn't miss, miss too much. Um, we just kind of started talking about Anakin. I don't know how long it's been. It's already already been on here for 40 minutes. It's crazy when I do solo shows, it just goes by really, really quick. But um, yeah, so I just started talking about Clone Wars Anakin a little bit ago, maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. And um, yeah, but welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. We got some new Grand Admirals. That's what you missed, some very exciting. We got, you know, a couple, you know, new Grand Admirals on the channel. That brings us to, I believe five, it's crazy, it's crazy. Oh, Jose says you missed the deep voice, Steve. Yeah, somebody gave me a super chat. So I rolled the super wheel, which I don't know how many people would really know about the super wheel. I only do it on solo streams, but if you super chat or gift a membership or become a member, I do a super wheel roll, which has various things on it, like use a deep voice, use a high voice, uh, wear a Darth Vader helmet or a Spider-Man mask, uh, fun stuff like that. Showcase a figure. You can ask me a collecting question, anything like that. Just something that I like to fun to do for... Uh, if anybody's uh does anything cool like that so yeah uh jeffrey says i want to see a custom all black version in this out outfit this is a great figure that would actually be pretty dope if there was like this was like blacked out like people could do a cool custom with this for sure for sure but jeffrey welcome in thank you so much for being here <laughs> uh crevice 1138 what's up thank you so much for being here hopefully i said your name right ironic that anakin comes with a sand base right right gets everywhere um so yeah, like I said, I really like this pose. This is like the teacher. That's what he is. That's what the expression is in this in this um, particular episode. You know what I mean? It's exactly what was happening. Um, so yeah, and this is branded. You got You just got to remember, like this is branded Ahsoka. This isn't meant to be just another up. This isn't meant to be just an updated version of the Clone Wars one we already have. That one still serves its own purpose in my mind. This is for the show, the show and the flash, the flashback. So that's the, and then this, a big part of what he was, when he was wearing this outfit was him talking to Ahsoka in a really important conversation. You know what I mean? And here we go. We got channel member, how you figure in the house, Anakin 101 classes in session. Let's go, bro. I just saw you just dropped a uh, preview video. The alert popped up on my phone. So go check out how you figure. If you haven't, you must've been hard at work on that Anakin, uh, and it can preview video. So I'm excited to watch it. I'll watch it when I'm done. I'll check that out for sure. Uh, Stacy says, my Obi-Wan Kenobi got delayed another month. I can't believe it's taking this long. I saw this. I saw some people posting about um, Clone Wars Kenobi getting delayed. And I think it was, I think it was Clone Wars. If that's what you're talking about. I think, I think. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I cannot wait for that. 
So this is cool. I wonder like how these, it's hard to tell how these attach on here. They must just like, it looks like they clip on. This looks like a little tiny circle or like kind of semi-circle where it just clip onto the lightsaber. So that's really cool. So you can probably move them. You can probably move them into different parts of the lightsaber. So that's pretty cool. Um, so as far as everything that it comes with, there is not a ton. It's these lights, these USB lightsabers. I really wish it could make them brighter. It would be so dope if they just could really make them brighter. Um, I don't know if they'll ever be able to do something like CCFL, but if they can get anything to get those LEDs brighter, it would just be very welcomed. But um, yeah, like I said, lightsaber deflecting effects, very cool. Rolling eyeballs, those, those separate rolling eyeballs. I've talked about this many times with a lot of stuff, like very just awesome that we get those. Um, hopefully they just keep doing those for all the figures. Holograms. I don't think we really need three holograms for this figure, to be honest. Uh, it's fine. Like really, probably really simple and cheap for them to do and include. So it's fine. Um, it'd be cool if you had the table. You know, if we had the table, that'd be cool. That table that it showed with Rex and like the hologram table. Then it'd be cool to like have these, you know what I mean? But I don't really care too much about the about this. Um, the gauntlets look, I'm pretty sure the gauntlet looks this left side of one. I don't know if it's different than the one I have right now or not, but I know this gauntlet is similar to the first release. Um, so yeah, relatively simple accessory wise, some cool, like the cool blaster effect new stuff, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for this release. I think it looks cool. This looks good, man. This looks, this looks just like Hayden Christensen. It's crazy. It's crazy. That's why I'm reading all this stuff online about how it doesn't look like anything like him. It's just, I just don't, if you watch the show, I feel like it looks, they, they really nailed this head skull for that and the expression from what he has in the show. You know, it's really good. Um, check your DMs, how you figure, says Jose. <laughs> uh, how you figure says, best way to spend a Friday night is with sneak peek and the awesome chat. Yes, chat is awesome as always every time really really drives my show so thank you all for being here and for commenting got a lot of comments a lot of uh thoughts in the chat i should go to the poll what do we got we got 43 votes i'm gonna end the poll it's getting close to being done 43 votes are you getting this anakin no 75 percent or i guess that's 74 yes 25 percent. so 75 25 so we only got yeah 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 and i'm not really surprised i feel like a lot of people are gonna get uh or just keep their older one you know i get it um i get it and let's see here we got reverse zeal in the house carlos what's up dude he says steve what's up baby that's for you bro always appreciate seeing you in here man thank you so much for tuning in to the show uh, Clinton says, I think everyone is used to prequel Hayden. He's like 25 years older than now. Absolutely. I think that that plays a, a role in it, you know, cause this technically he's supposed to be like younger in this. Um, like this is during the Clone Wars. So he's supposed to like look younger, but, um, obviously you can only do so much with the character. <clears throat> Jose says his poll is 86, 14 now plug again, go vote. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. The majority is for not getting this figure, to be honest. Um, collection Obsession says, I mostly want this figure for the head sculpt and lightsaber effect. Yeah, those are two big pluses of this one, right? And you can see in this photo too, like it looks like his maybe the wearing on his armor is a little bit different. This belt is definitely different. This gauntlet looks like it's got a little bit more almost like graininess to it. It just looks different than the other one. But I think it looks good, man. I think it looks good. I think it looks a lot like Hayden Christensen. Th these like up close ones look really good. But I think once you get like at this distance too, and you get the rolling eyes and like him position, this looks so good with young Ahsoka. Like this picture alone is selling it for me. Uh, this looks, this looks super dope. Um, Jose says the gauntlets look way better. Yeah, that this this is and like the other one is kind of a pain in the ass to clip on. If I remember, like you gotta um like get the material just right. It kept falling off for me. Um, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, like I said, I hope we get the I hope we get something like this. This would be a cool accessories thing. Um, because this is badass. Yeah, that's cool. Um, anyways. 
that is it. That is it for uh, Anakin. Moving on. Let's move along to my now. I got to transition scenes here. Uh oh, Boop. let's talk about Star Wars Dark Side a little bit. So I talked about this. Was that last week? I think because that was was when they dropped the um, the first reveal of this, and then they now show are showing this poster of all this stuff on it, all this good stuff, right? Um, but before I get to that, Zio says, "I love I love this for that specific scene." Look, while while I won't be copying, but I do call this fuck boy Anakin. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny, bro. Um, yeah, he definitely he's definitely doesn't he's not mad. He's got a very sincere, caring expression on his face. If that's if that's what you want to call it. Um, whoops. Um, we definitely do. We definitely look at that. There's a tease for Pirates of the Caribbean, Jack. We don't need to talk about that tonight. So dark side, what do you guys want to see from this? Like, I know we've already kind of talked about it. Now we got this poster. Like, what do you think is going to happen? What do you want to see? I, I'll tell you what I think is going to happen with this. I think we are going to get the two inquisitors. So I think we're going to get fourth sister right here. Fifth brother right here. I think both of them are going to happen, especially now the uh, star Wars just dropped this. If you don't know this tales of the empire star wars animated shorts and i implore you if you have not seen tales of the jedi which is the other animated shorts thing that that star wars released go check that out it's like with young it has a lot of young dooku stuff in it like go check it out go check out tales it's a quick watch and it's awesome uh this i the, the trailer for this other one tales of the empire yeah, it got me pretty hyped too. It looks so good. But Fourth Sister is in it. So Fourth Sister, there's a lot of Inquisitor stuff in, in uh, Tales of the Empire. So I think Fourth Sister, Fifth Brother are coming. So we're going to have all these Inquisitors. I think Revan is probably, I hate to say it, but I think Revan might be like a limited release. And this looks like a figure with the way his hand is, is holding the lightsaber. Like this looks like a figure to me. Like they've made it and there's going to be like there's a prototype. So I think, uh, I think this Revan is, is going to happen. I, I just, I really hope that they don't make it limited. I think, um, yeah, I just really hope they don't make it limited, but something's probably going to be limited either Revan or star if they do a star killer. Um, so yeah, this like Sith stalker star killer is really dope too. I don't know about star killer. I think it'd be really cool if they do do it. Um, Revan and star killer, both very cool. And then I think we get a 2.0 mall. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I think we get a 2.0 mall. Uh, that's going to be branded the Phantom Menace for 20th or 25th anniversary. And I think that's it. I think that's, I think that's what we are going to get. I, my gut feeling says we're not going to get another Dooku. This is the Dooku that's already out right here. This is, a, this is the same Dooku that's already out. And then all these other figures are already released or going to be released soon merrick and palpatine we got the inquisitors already vader's interesting like are they going to do like a, another vader revenge of the sith vader i guess maybe kylo i don't see us getting another kylo but that's pretty much uh that's pretty much the main that's that's my main thoughts on it relatively quick a lot of people hype for this revan right clinton says revan and star killer that is all i think people would be happy literally if we just got those two brad says revan as well yes yes um jose also said everyone watched tales of the jedi especially the duke episodes there are not a lot of episodes and they're short i think the the most the, the they're short but they're long enough to give you like a story because they're actually like story pieces it's so good um and you find out what happened to yaddle so you should definitely just go watch it um if you haven't seen it it's really really good uh brick artemis in the house what's up brick i don't think i saw you comment uh, earlier on in here but he says it looks pretty good what's up dude a fellow wolf pack brother and in the house uh thank you so much for being here dude this looks pretty good the trailer was awesome yeah i agree that that tales of the empire trailer got me hyped hyped up uh <laughs> this is we got to convince shane to break his prequel rule for the mall 2.0 shane if you are listening i know deep down you are excited you are excited at the thought and anxious at the thought of getting a 2.0 mall and you might pick it up in the future there you go. Uh, collection obsession says, all I want is an updated mall. I think an updated mall is coming. 
I do. I, that, that's kind of, I feel like for, yeah, I just think they're going to. I don't think it's going to have the speeder. I think it's just going to be a figure made with a few different head sculpts. But I think it's happening. I do. Uh, Grand Admiral AJ says, Revan and Starkiller are day one pre-orders for me. I wouldn't mind a Phantom Menace small since I just missed that figure. Yeah, if they, uh, uh, yeah, I would, I would, uh, if this was, if Revan and Starkiller actually happened, yeah, I, I would get both of those 100%. 100%. Revan is the one I really, really want to happen. Um, if they, if it both uh, happens, oh yes, yes. Uh, Darren twenty five hundred one says Revan and Star Killer are iconic looks from Star Wars Old Republic. Yes, I hope we get. I really hope we get both of these. Uh, Howie Figure says, speaking of prequels, I'm looking at Jango Fat. Does anyone have him? Should I pick him up? I have Jango Fat, great figure that you can get for significantly under retail. Man, you can get him for like two hundred bucks. Um. Yes, don't pay full price for him. Um, Django's a great figure, man. He's a really cool figure. Uh, Holly Figure also says, I'm glad it looks like we are getting the rest of the Inquisitors. I think we're going to. I think we are going to. That's pretty much it. I don't really have too much more to say about this. Yeah, Christian says Django's an amazing figure. <laughs> Geo says, I've had Django in my car so many times, but never pulled the trigger. I would try to get him on one of the buy sell trade groups, man. They like, you can get him, like I said, for 200, maybe even under that. And I think he retails at like, what, 285? He's not cheap if you buy him brand new. Um, But yeah, yeah, Django's a dope figure. Django's a dope figure. How you figure is going down that whole prequel. Oh, yep. He's right what I was just going to say. Yeah, dude, after getting this payout, man, you need a Django. And then you need a Dooku. And then you need. Uh, you need a Yoda and then you need, uh, oh, then you start thinking Geonosis. So then you need the droid and then you need three PO and R2. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Um, so that's really it. I'm excited to see kind of what they do with this. And this also like, I didn't put it in the graphic, but if I like here, if I do this, if I like uncrop part of this. Now you can see like the city plaza thing down here. Um, so it looks like they're going to have like this on it's, it almost looks like this is an event for hot toys i don't know if we're going to get a ton of i just don't think we're going to get a ton of reveals i think it's more like they're promoting this event and these are the figures that they're going to showcase there like as part of the event so there you go that's uh that's all i got to say about this okay now we're going to move on again unless anybody has any last uh last words they want to say about star wars dark side line or anakin i'll give you guys a minute or so here but Next, we're going to move on to uh, to our next topic of uh, in art, the Batman. Um, Ryan Stadler is in the house. What is up? Uh, that's a new name. Thank you so much for tuning in, Ryan. Appreciate you. Uh, oh, my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan, for being here. I cannot believe what my eyes right now. Jose was just gifted another membership. But let me go back to Ryan real quick. So I want to give this uh, dude, I want to read this comment. Dude, I want to destroy your droid. Yeah, me too. It'd be badass. I, it, it'd be really cool to get like a, um, to get like a droid deca and like, uh, yeah, it, it's, I love droids. Give me all the droids. Um, how you figure gifted one membership. Thank you so much. How you figure. I cannot believe neither can cage no fucking way jose has now been gifted his third channel membership in a row after it expired <laughs> this is unbelievable man i cannot believe this is happening jose welcome back in to the evil empire bro um Oh, and how your figures dropping another gifted. Let's go, let's go. Keep bringing the gifted. He wants it. He wants the. Uh, he wants the super wheel roll. Um, Christian Cooper was gifted one. Let's go. Well deserved, Christian Cooper. Welcome to the Evil Empire, bro. Courtesy of how you figure. We got forty two in the house. Please hit that like button. And if you haven't, please consider joining the channel membership, the Evil Empire, which is growing by the day, growing by the hour. We got a couple new channel members tonight. Jose is back again. Make that his third one in a row. Uh, crazy, man. So lucky. So lucky. 
Um, uh, Jose, you lucky man. Um, and then we got Christian Cooper. And then we got, like I said, we got we got two new Grand Admirals in AJ and Thrawn's office. So really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the support. The link is in the top of the uh, the chat pinned if you want to join the Evil Empire tonight. So this means I got to do another super wheel roll. Um, <laughs> how your figure says, there you go, Christian, because we'll save you some money on that crosshair. <laughs> You don't gotta you don't don't gotta pay for that channel membership. You get that gifted and then you put it towards your crosshair, bro. There you go. Okay, let's go to the super wheel. Uh how you figured. Thank you so much, bro, for the two gifteds. Really appreciate it, dude. Uh really appreciate your support of the channel as well and for being a channel member. But here we go. Let me get to the uh let me get to this the wheel real quick. God, Jose, you lucky. Never gonna have to. Never gonna have to buy a membership. Apparently. <laughs> uh, where's the wheel? Here we go. And let's do a spin here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Collecting question. I think you got that last time too. So you get to ask me any collecting question. How you figure? Bring it on. Uh, let me move back here. Um, <laughs> the movie canon celebrates three months of membership he says join the evil empire i seek the rank of emperor whoa whoa bro whoa <laughs> whoa whoa okay okay geo slow your roll bro slow your roll bro no i really appreciate you being a member for three months man it's crazy i cannot believe it's been three months i think i started my channel membership in like late december but it's crazy it's crazy that it's been three months already um that's really cool so uh, i think i talked about it i may have maybe talked about it last time i don't know if i even did but i added ranks you guys probably saw my intro screen i added ranks into the memberships now so it starts at like trooper and then it goes up from there um i should look real quick you see this you see this you guys can see what uh see what you think hold up let me go back here real quick Uh, I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. Um, but anyway, so I have this, uh, like new, uh, I upgraded my channel membership thing. So it's like troopers. If you've been in the channel member for one month, you're a trooper, two months, lieutenants, three months, commanders. I basically did it based off of like the Imperial Navy and then grand Admiral grand Admiral is not like quite the top, but I like how, what grand Admiral. like everyone like thinks grand Admiral is like pretty cool. And you think of grand Admiral Thrawn. So Grand Admiral is like the, the top level that you can get. And then there's like captains, four months, commodores, five months, Admiral six plus months. So it's just a cool thing. Like the longer you're in, I just wanted to get like, uh, have something cool where it showed like kind of how long you've been a member for on the member shout out page. So you could see, and then you like kind of ascend the ranks the longer you're in. So I thought that was a cool idea. I've been thinking about kind of how to like, what to do for names and stuff like that. But um, I think that's a, like, like I said, a cool idea, trying to make it fun for you guys. Um, so you can let me know your thoughts if you, uh, if you want to, but we're going to get to in our Batman. But before I do that collection, such as Jose should play the lotto tomorrow. Um, yes, he should. He should. And how you figure just upgraded their membership. Oh boy. Oh, now we got grand Admiral Justin in the house. You can let me know. Should I call you grand Admiral? How you figure? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much for the generosity, the support of the channel it means a lot. Uh, we got grand Admiral, how you figure the, uh, the grand admirals have grown immensely. We got six people now who are grand admirals of the channel. So really appreciate it, bro. And he's smashing that strength emoji. I love it. I love it. Um, and we got geo, the movie cannon with the four ninety nine super chat, dude. I really, uh, really appreciate it and he says fun fund for lando um thanks man i really appreciate it <laughs> put that in the lando fund <laughs> let's go let's go uh grail well, i know you're not talking about lando but that's okay that's okay collection obsession do you have a grand moth level i don't have a grand moth level which would be higher. I, I see. I thought about this. Like, does it go, do I stop at grand Admiral? Because 
I have a thing on my phone that I look at because Grand Moff is higher. And I was like, do I keep going? Do I go higher than that? Um, I don't know where the picture is on here. It's on my phone somewhere. Cause like I did, I didn't do, I didn't do sh like sh really strict ranking. Cause there's a bunch of kind of like abstract names and people are going to be like, what the heck? Um, but I did, oh, let's see. Let me see if I can find it on here. So yeah, I did like Grand Admiral, Grand Admiral. And then there's like Moff and then Grand Moff. So Grand Moff, I could, um, <laughs> MB Dyson's emperor level for their oldest, longest member, Sith Lord level. <laughs> um, where'd it go? Do I have a Grand Moff level? No, I could make a Grand Moff level. I could make, I, I suppose I could make one. It would be a higher, it'd have to be a higher tier. So I'd have to think about like what I would do for like the pricing on it. But if anybody actually wants a Grand Moff level above Grand Admiral, maybe let me know. You can send me a message. Um, CM is in the house. What's up, CM? That's a new name, like the Stormtrooper logo. Welcome into the chat. I ordered the Jack Sparrow Artisan. Easy pass on this. Anakin, hey, congratulations on the Artisan Jack Sparrow. Amazing figure. I ordered mine as well. Really looking forward to that. It says, I do not like the Ahsoka series. Dang. Dang. Rough. Um, yeah, I love the Ahsoka series, but hey, man. Everyone's different. I know some people don't like it. I don't really uh, mind too much about what people like and don't like. But uh, like I said, everyone's kind of welcome in the chat. So thank you so much. Congrats on that, Jack Sparrow. That's awesome. Um, Batman collectibles with the $4.99 super chat. I'm also contributing to the Lando fund. Best, best villain in Star Wars. There we go. There we go. Um, that's hilarious, bro. Thank you so much. Um, and also, I think I shouted, shouted him out last time, but I want to give Batman collectibles a shout out for giving me this uh ot customs gift there we go this ot customs gift of this collar that i'm going to be putting on my batman um so thank you so much bro appreciate the gift and appreciate the 499 super chat lando the best villain in star wars um that's funny man uh cm says i'm expecting that hot toys will release a chewbacca the return of the jedi yeah i think there's a potential i think there's a potential we could get a chewbacca i think uh, so there's it hasn't been one in a while. I think that's possible for sure. <laughs> the movie canon says, I guess I got to take the title of Emperor. <laughs> whoa, bro. Whoa. Uh, I guess like technically like that would be me. Like the emperor of, of the evil empire. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to think of like ranking wise, or do I go above, even go beyond that and make up my own? Um, but that's funny. Um, CM says from the Sith, I will, or from the Siths, I will order the most relevant from the Lucas Canon. I pass with the Inquisitors, bad interpretation. Them, I'm sick of the Woken Disney. Yeah. I know some people don't like what they've done with some of like the grand Inquisitor and stuff like that. So, uh, I get it. I get it. Um, Ryan Sadler says, who's got two thumbs and betrayed his best friend, Lando. Are you saying Lando betrayed his best friend? Cause he definitely, yeah. Lando, Lando betrayed his friends, man. That's right. What's worse than getting betrayed by your friends? That sucks. Um, Brad says general. Mm -hmm. So, so you guys, it sounds like you guys are telling me I need to create potentially another tier. Oh boy. Oh boy. Though, though I guess the next one, I, the one I would make above Grand Admiral would be like Grand Moff. That would be, that'd be the next, the next one that I would potentially do. But anyways. Enough talk about that, but thank you guys for the support. Thank you, how you figure for all the gifteds and all that fun stuff and for upgrading your membership, man. Thank you so much. Um, also, you got to ask me a, co a collecting question. I was always happy to support you in the channel. The super wheel collecting question. Hit me with it. Um, so let's talk about the Inart Batman. Oh, man. Oh, man. There's a lot going on with this figure right now in the community. A lot of people talking about this one. So Inart puts up this post and they say, we're pleased to show you the final images of your product. And we get hit with this photo, right? And some other ones. I'll scroll through them here. We got this one, this one. We got some Bruce Wayne photos as well. 
We got some accessory photos, you know, which accessories actually look pretty darn good. Um, this is fine. All the batarangs, all the cowls. The cowl actually looks really good too. But we get this photo and you get some sculpt. It looks like some sculpteds, some rooted variations. And um, yeah, so people are obviously not happy about how the head sculpt looks in this with you know, just the, the portrait and the hair. A lot of people are upset about the hair. It's kind of, yeah, it's, it's really the, the, my main thought on this right now is it's, it's, uh, it's just kind of interesting how they did these photos for the final reveal. Like you would think they would. So like you got all the boxes back here of the, for the fi figure, you got them almost all stand. They got them all standing on their bases, ready to go in the boxes, right? All these accessories are ready. It's almost like, I feel like the message here was more focused on, hey, the figure is done and we're getting it out to you. Like showing all of them lined up, right? Like, oh, here's all these figures. Like they're done, they're complete. They're getting, I think it was more like, let's release these pictures to get more, build the anticipation that, hey, I know there's a lot of talk of us as a company not getting figures out it was almost like the the messaging for them was like, hey, let's show that it's like, let's focus more on the fact that this figure is is produced and ready to go out to consumers rather than, hey, let's really focus on the product itself and show like not like, yeah, like blogger style photos or like show the photos in its final form. Cause we've seen a bunch of in art photos otherwise, right? With various, and this figure looks good. I don't really, I haven't really heard people complain about you know the the head sculpt when it showed when they showed it prior even like a few days prior to this post right um but then we get this so and now this is like here's the final product this is a head sculpt and it's crazy it, i said this on on wednesday and wolfpack wednesday if you look at these photos this head sculpt this looks like it's rooted back here this looks like it's rooted because you can see this little strand of hair right here versus on this one sculpted you can see like the, the this looks sculpted this looks rooted back in here. When you um, when uh, when you look at this, and then look at this head sculpt, these look different. Like this one, actually, this one right here, this looks pretty damn good in my mind. Like even though it's blurred out a little bit, like this looks like this looks like a different sculpt. Like it almost looks like you have multiple different sculpts on here. Um, they all look a little bit different. And then you get this view and I know people are saying like, oh, he looks sad and it just like, doesn't look right. So like now it's kind of like, we only have like this, we only have this to go off of. Um, so like looking at the rooted, your, this is your final product reveal. You have this photo and you have this photo. That's all you get. That's all you get for the final product reveal. So like they just, I'm wondering like what was their thought process on getting these photos out. Um, Cause this is all you get when looking at this rooted one, which is an expensive figure. So it's just like, you want to know what you're spending your money on. Um, and this is, yeah, it's just like, this is all you get for that. Same with these. Like these are kind of like, they're all, they're looking down. If you look at a lot of these Bruce Wayne's, they all look kind of different because of their, the positioning and all that stuff. Right. So it's kind of just like, yeah, it's interesting how they took these photos. Um, and this is cool how they lined up the accessories and that's all fine. And like, it looks cool, but um, yeah, I guess it's more like, oh, we're getting, they're going to be ready to ship out. Right. The cowl looks, the cowl looks good. I will say too, the suit, the tailoring, the suit, the collar, the proportions of the suit are really, really nice. I think that this all looks real like, all oh, this looks really good. Um, one thing I noticed too, now that I have the bat, the hot toys one is like these pouches look like they're a little smaller. These look like they're a little bit smaller than the hot toys one. So I think like, it's going to be interesting getting this in hand versus getting, and then having the hot, the hot toys one. Cause the hot toys one incredible, you know, for those who are, who kind of started tuning in late, my review of the hot toys one is going to be coming out this weekend, hopefully tomorrow, but this suit looks badass. This collar looks really good. I know a lot of people talk about the collar for the Hot Toys one because it's not wide and tall enough. Um, but this collar looks really good. The weathering on the suit looks really cool. I like how they've got these like this subtle like weathering and 
you know, like these kind of scratches on the shoulder plate. This this um collar looks really good here. So I'm re I'm excited. And how you figure has a collector question. When you get the NR Batman, are you going to do a comparison review to the Hot Toys, uh, the Batman? I am. I am going to do that, likely, depending on when I get my figure, I think. Um, depends on how long it's going to take me to get this. Um, but yes, yes. <laughs> Ryan says, make me your general and I'll make your enemies the instruments of their own destruction. <laughs> love it, love it. Uh, the movie can says, gotta overthrow Steve. <laughs> gonna need a lot more members to do that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, Thrawn's off says, Grand Moff Litterus does have a nice ring to it. <laughs> Oh, but I'm quite happy to be called Grand Admiral Thrawn's office. It's just ridiculous, though. I'll just call you Grand Admiral Mike. Oh, that's funny. We got Renz, Talon, Renz, the talent, Tolentino in the house. That's your, that's the nickname I gave you, bro. I hope you, hope you like it. Renz, the talent. It says, good evening, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you, bro. Uh, thank you so much for tuning into the show. So, yeah, we got that. I... Is, is it time? I guess the big topic of discussion right now too is like, is it like, is this going to be something that like, is this cause for concern here? I'll make a poll, make a poll. Should we be concerned? Should we be concerned about in our Batman? Yes or no? Ren says, love it. Yes, the talent himself. Um, you guys can let me know. You guys can vote in the poll. Should we be concerned about in our Batman? Me personally, I don't think it's... I think it's going to be fine. I think once we see other photos of it... And, and this is another thing is... This came out like a few days ago. How like I, I'm just kind of surprised Inar hasn't put out new photos showing this. You know what I mean? Like, how come we haven't gotten any any new photos of this or anything? It's kind of interesting. Um, but like I said, if they can get this head sculpt right, like in another, this this is one thing when I, we were when we when I've talked about this, you know, quite a bit this week. But you're showing the Batman, and I understand you're showing the cowl right here. But this is your final product review of the Batman, or not final product review, final product reveal post of the Batman and you don't have a picture with the cowl on like that is just like I understand showing like this of with the with the cowl off and like the hair and stuff like that but this is the Batman like we gotta have a photo with the cowl on for your final product reveal everybody wants to see I, I understand people want the head sculpt but I would think a lot of people out there want to see this fully like as batman because i know there's probably a fair amount of people probably more people who got the sculpted version maybe we're going to be displaying um the sculpted version with the cowl on um maybe not maybe there, maybe there's going to be a mixture of both but anyways like not showing the cowl version is yeah i was kind of surprised kind of surprised by that one um not gonna lie though seeing these photos this kind of makes me want a, one of these bruce waynes but the price is just like to get like a you know, just like a kind of like a generic outfit. So like he's wearing like his kind of suit and stuff. And then he's got his uh, like the trench coat. So to spend that much for that is kind of just a tough pill to swallow. So probably not. But yeah, and like I said, these accessories, fine. They look cool. I'm lining them up very meticulously. This is very, very meticulous. Battering looks cool. Cowl looks cool. I like the little details in the cowl. I think this looks, this is going to look good. Um, but they got to get this thing out. They got to get this thing out. We got six votes. We got to get more votes. We got 31 in the house. We only got six votes. Let me know is the, or should we be concerned about in our Batman? Just a yes or no. So you guys can let me know in the poll. But this is, it's interesting because in our, I really like, I like in our stuff and I don't want like, in our i like the like i got the rooted two-pack joker i really like it i've got a couple more on pre-order uh in our superman uh paul atreides um 
this one i have this one obviously pre-ordered as well i'm excited to get it and like i want in art to succeed you know what i mean um i i hope this i i just hope this isn't a miss like i really hope it's not i hope this i really hope that this is uh ends up turning out to be fine um Rick says, I was trying to become a member, but every time it directs me to my personal account, so I'll have to figure that out, bro. Oh, that's weird. I wonder if it's something with your, uh, um, with how, whatever, all those, I don't know. You said you were having issues with your, um, with your Google stuff or whatever. But anyways, appreciate the thought, man. You can, uh, you get it sorted, get it sorted. But I appreciate you attempting. That's very kind of you to do. Um, Grand Admiral Mike says i'm excited for the necklace cowl as it should be um uh, yeah i th i think so. i think that was a like that was an interesting move by hot toys to have yeah they included the cowl but it's got the neck on it i, I agree i think like the necklace one is uh is would have been a smart thing for hot toys to do um too sweet but yeah i i it's tough because like right now in our is like they've got to speed it up um i think that's the main thing is like i think they talked about what like like 10 figures potentially being available for pre-order this year um yeah i don't i don't know it's crazy like and this is another thing is this figure like was announced at the same time that Gan Gandalf was announced and Gandalf like got into people's hands like what September. So it's just this one's taking longer. And I'm not saying that taking lo a long time is a bad thing. Hot Toys takes a long time to release figures too. But also like it's kind of hard because I feel like Inart is under more pressure to meet deadlines. So like Inart said, hey, well, you need to get this out by like or we plan to get this out by March. Like we've delayed it. We've delayed it. We've taken in your feedback hey, we're delighted to let you know this figure is going to ship in March and now they haven't hit it. Like there's no information about the shipping. Now it's April. Hot Toys does this shit all the time where we get delay after delay. But Hot Toys is like making so many figures, I feel like. And they're like the, they're like kind of the king right now in one six. So like them delaying stuff, they kind of get a pass. But Inert's like a new company. So it's kind of like right now it's like we... It, people are judging them a little bit more strict to where like they're delaying to April, but there, I feel like more people are mad about that. Um, because yeah, just like, um, yeah, it's, it's like they're, they're holding in art to a higher standard. Cause they're kind of a new company. Right. Um, which I get that too. I get that too. We got Jazzy in the house. He says, my boy, Sneaker. What's up, Jazzy? Fist bump, bro. What's up, dude? Thank you so much for tuning into the show. Uh, Savon Mason says, what's up, Savon? Says, Inart is currently making like five figures. What is taking them so long to release them? Yeah, and they've talked about how like they're working on getting more people in and they're going to up their production and increase the speed. Um, But yeah, it's just like to only release like, a, I know this is what their fourth figure, right? And they're new so like they're new it's their fourth figure and like i know people want them to speed it up too the other thing is in order for them to speed it up i guess i kind of just thought about this is one thing that they have to do to speed it up is they've got to get um they've got to get there's they've got to get spacing between how many figures they have so like Hot Toys has it where they, they have like these windows of releases, right? Hot Toys releases so many figures, over 75 figures a year. So they're releasing figures like in these windows and it's and it's like um it's like spaced out, right? Right now, we since Inart doesn't have a lot of figures, we're waiting really long for one to be released. So it feels like we're just waiting because they don't have any spacing between their releases. Well, first of all, the main thing is they don't have enough figures that they're making. So it's not like we're getting one figure every couple months right now because they really can't. They just started as a company. So they're just starting making these figures. I shouldn't say just started as a company because um, we got like the Joker was a while ago, but you guys see what I'm saying? Like we need to get, we need, in our needs to get 
a lot of figures in production in order to then get spacing to where it feels like we're getting in art releases more often. I think that's part of the problem too right now is Hot Toys can kind of drown out the delay talk of stuff being delayed and taking forever because there's always something that they're releasing or announcing. So like it takes away from that, right? Like the Batman figure for Hot Toys took forever. It was really long time, right? Catwoman, a long time. But you have so many other figures coming out that I feel like it kind of gets drowned out by the other other stuff because it's like, okay, well, this one's delayed. Well, I got this one on pre-order. I'm excited for this figure. Right now, all the in-art figures, we're just all waiting. There's nothing else where it's like, oh, I'm waiting for this Batman. Oh, well, they're, it's okay. They're going to release another figure. And in, the, in two months from now, there's a, this one coming out. Right now, we really don't have that with them. They need to like get basically like, they need to get a production. They need to, to level up their production. To sit, like they need to get like 15 to 20 figures in production and have them being made. So then we're getting one like every quarter or like every couple months. I feel like that's a big problem right now because right now they're not making a lot of figures. And then it just feels like we're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting because they don't have enough figures in the works that they're developing simultaneously like Hot Toys. When Hot Toys look at how many figures are slated to potentially come out this month, there's like a, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. You know, so that's that and that's kind of part of it. They're starting up the company, so it's taking a while. But I feel like that's some of it. It feels like we're waiting a long time, but I would look at Hot Toys. We're waiting a long time for Hot Toys too, but their releases are staggered out to the point where like you don't really care as much about waiting for something because there's always something next to get. We just don't have that right now from InArt, um, if that makes sense. MB Dyson says, oh yeah, you've been trying, dang, you've been trying to join too. That's, I wish you guys could. I'm sorry that that's, uh, not working out but if you let me know if you do end up joining and it's under like your name or something i can always uh i can always still change it up in the shout out and all that stuff so you can let me know if you end up doing it um austin nicholas is in the house he says is this where all of the cool kids are at it is bro it is thank you so much for tuning in to the show a good friend of mine and a great supporter of the channel thank you austin just got even cooler with Austin in the building. Yes, it did. And also go check out Austin's video that he just posted. I watched part of it right before I got on of him being a first time toy photographer and dropping a, dropping a video. And he's on his way to 1K. He's like almost, I think, to 900 subs right now. So go check out Austin Nicholas, everybody. Um, I'm going to finish that video when uh, when I'm done, too. I got a couple videos I need to, uh, need to watch. Uh, Grand Admiral AJ says, I think it's a problem because they want to keep their high level of quality, but they do need more volume and more volume inevitably, inevitably leads to more income. Yeah. Yeah. I think they need to just get stuff in the pipeline because then we wouldn't be talking so much about waiting for so long. I think we just need to get more from them on a more consistent basis. You know, Savon says hot toys delays things, but they also do some random early drops. So I think it kind of bounces out. That's a really good point. That's a really good point. Yes. Um, we got channel member Hot Toys Hotline in the house. He says, hello, evil Steven. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, thank you for tuning into the show. Um, Austin says, ah, Steve, you're the best. You don't even got to watch. I'm just happy we're friends. Oh, dude, I'm happy we're friends. But I like watching people's stuff, man. I like, uh, yeah. I, it's really hard for me to watch everybody's videos. I really try to, like, watch as much stuff as I can. I can't. It's really hard for me to get to everything, but... Um, I'm going to watch this one because I'm interested. The photo that like you put a reel in like the photo you sent of like your dioramas are so good. So I'm going to check it out for sure. Um, let's see here. So ooh, wait, Grand Admiral AJ says, I need to check out Austin's video then since I just got a new camera for figure photography. Nice. You have to what what uh, camera did you get? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Um, Collector Joey says listening while I'm on the road. Well, thank you. Thank you, Joey. Be careful driving. Um, Alexander Danvers is in the house. This is a new name. Thank you, Alexander, for tuning into the show and welcome into the chat. Doesn't look terrible, but I'm happy with my Hot Toys one. I'll mostly just go through in art with the characters that Hot Toys doesn't produce. Yeah, fair enough. And they're making ones that Hot Toys isn't making, right? We've seen some ones in the pipeline. So yeah, that's a fair point. The Hot Toys one is so good. It's so good. Um, like, I feel like anybody would be happy enough with the Hot Toys one where they wouldn't have to get this one. Um, 
MB Dyson says, Superman was my first in our order. I wonder if it will actually come this year. Yeah, like Superman slated for what, Q3? Or is it like the fall maybe? I forget exactly when it is, but like, yeah, we're supposed to get Superman this year. Um, so like I said, and that's, and that's better, right? Like if we get this Batman and then like, the other thing is the distribution, you know, like when you get the, like when, if this figure's released, are we not going to see this till, like some of us not going to see this till the fall? So I think there's just some unanswered questions right now as far as their manufacturing. Um, I know they said that they were going to speed it up and hopefully that's true. Hopefully they start speeding it up. And if they can get kind of, uh, if they can kind of get that, you know, getting a little bit more of a groove of getting more production, having more figures in production and then releasing stuff. Um, the other problem um, is they're making you want to talk about like making figures they're making a four pack joker that is a lot of figures that they need to make for one release so like when you do a four pack that also takes away your ability to then work on something else like another figure so like that joker four pack is going to take so much production time um it's just yeah it's a uh, that, that's another thing so like those releases where it's multi figures like that we got the two pack you got a four pack that is a lot of manpower or woman power to be able to to make all of those figures and sculpt all of that stuff right it's that's that's part of it too um grand admiral aj says i inherited my late father's canon rebel t6 nice nice that's a that's a, a dope camera i did some camera research when i bought mine um my mom had it sitting for two years and was just like, do you want this? Came with two lenses too, been having a blast with it. Dude, that's awesome. Sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry about your father, but um, I hope uh, hope you enjoy the camera and you will learn a lot. It is a huge learning curve. Um, yeah, uh, absorbing literally everything I can right now. Yeah, it's, yeah, learn everything you can about that camera. It's fun though. It's fun. You'll go, you'll go, uh, you'll go down the rabbit hole for sure, for sure. Um, Austin says, Steve, do you think if Hot Toys didn't nail it, then people would possibly forgive some imperfections versus now where people consider Hot Toys perfect and will now compare NR directly to that? Yeah, this is a good, this is a really good question, Austin. So yeah, I think, yeah, if Hot, now Hot Toys set a high standard for this figure. So I think like, I, I truly think now, like, and I thought this too, when I opened my Hot Toys one, I was like, I really don't know if I need to get the in art one now like this. And I probably don't, to be honest, but I want to compare them both. And I really like in art stuff. So um, the the Hot Toys one is so good. So, yeah, I think the in art one now is even and that was kind of part of like why they both weren't releasing is because they were kind of going back and forth. Like who's going to release first and Hot Toys up their game and really like improved the figure. So yeah, I do think that there's, I, I do think, um, I do think people would possibly forgive some of the imperfections if it weren't to be like that. Like if Hot Toys didn't nail it. Yeah. Yeah. Now people say like, uh, yeah, if that makes, if that makes sense. Um, now in our, yeah, is going to be, going to be compared to the Hot Toys one, which is really, really good. Um, so yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Grand Admiral AJ says, I literally want to photograph everything in my collection right now. Yeah. I remember when I got my camera, I was just taking pictures, of all sorts of stuff. Um, it's very fun. Very fun. I saw something about a feral predator in here. Oh, brother. Grand Admiral Justin says, Hot Toys Hotline and I were talking about feral predator today. Steve, are you pre-ordering? Haven't seen the movie yet. I haven't seen the movie. I need to watch it. Uh, the figure looks really awesome. I, I bet you if I watched it, I, I, I'm sure if I watch the movie, I'll be like, oh, I, I want to get this, but I don't want to go down the predator rabbit hole that Mr. Connor is going down currently. Um, I do not want to go that route. Um, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. So anyways, as far as the inner goes, I'm, I will reserve my judgment for when this thing either gets in hand or when they show us some more photos. Cause we got to see more than this. I, I don't, I couldn't ever say like, Oh, I'm going to cancel my order or change my order based on just seeing this. I need to see more with that being said, 
what they've given us in these photos isn't what I would say should be what they should do moving forward. <laughs> like they got to give us photos where like you're dropping. This is a, we've all waited so long to see the final product for the Batman. And you're getting all of this, uh, you know, all of this hype and you're delaying it and you're making it better. You're taking in all this community feedback and then you drop this not good enough to just drop these types of photos we need to like this should be like all that hype and anticipation is building you got to give us like a photo that is like damn this in our hot toy or this in our hot toys <laughs> this in our batman figure is bringing it like this looks really dope and i will say like i said suit wise this is a really dope suit and i'm really liking how the suit looks in this so i think i think ultimately the cowled version is going to be really good um, it's just the rooted head sculpt is, is, uh, the photos leave some, yeah, things to be desired. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it for in art. Unless anybody has anything else, I'm going to end the poll. We got 24 votes. Should we be concerned about in art Batman? Yes. 58%. No 41%. So somewhat split, somewhat split, which is about to be expected. Um, oh, let's see. Austin says, Justin, let's do a horror collab. We can talk about a lot of, talk a lot of movies. Yes. I think I told Justin, I'm like, Austin is your dude for a horror collab. Like you guys need to connect. Um, Grand Admiral Justin says, Steve, it is really good. You will dig it. Yes. Yes. I should, I need to watch it. I need to watch it. Um, okay. Let me go back to this screen. So Next, I want to pull up some questions and you guys can let me know in the chat too for these. So I do a, for my channel members on YouTube, I make a post every week for members only Q and A. I had some really good questions from you guys this week. So uh, just a fun thing I like to do for channel members, just to get you more involved in, in, uh, in the channel as well. And you know, I'm always down to answer anybody's questions, but I feel like it's fun to do a segment, um, and kind of just, uh, you know, hit these questions, uh, hit up these questions from the uh, post. So. If you're a channel member, you can always check that out. I usually post it midweek for the Friday stream. So um, first one on here, Grand Admiral Mark Attack. And I got to edit some real quick. Uh, okay, there we go. Grand Admiral Mark Attack says, if you had to choose between getting Revenant Starkiller or getting Savage and Ventress, who would you choose? If you choose one pair, the other will never be made. Oh, this is tough. I would probably go Savage and Ventress just because there's more that they can go with within Hot Toys currently. Like Revan and Starkiller, they don't have anything right now that they could really go with. Like Savage can go with Clone Wars Maul, who they can then both go with, uh, with Clone Wars Palpatine, um, Ventress now with the Bad Batch. And then, um, you know, you have the ability to put her with some other characters as well. So I would probably go Savage and Ventress. Savage is actually probably top three of my most wanted uh, Star Wars figures right now. Savage Press would just be a really awesome figure that they could do. And he's tall, like he's like seven feet tall or something like that. Like he's really tall. They could make him really tall. Like he could be a menacing figure. He could look really, really cool. Um, so I would love to see a Savage Press. But Revan's also one that I really, really want. So he's up there as probably top three, top five figures too. So I would say I would probably go with Savage and Ventress. Great question, Grand Admiral Mark. Um, Nick says Revan and Starkiller aren't canon anyway. So revan is te revan technically is in mention he just hasn't been shown you know but um I, I think it'll happen at some point i think it'll happen at some point um yeah star killer obviously just from like force unleashed and um and yeah so that would uh be, be uh it would i it would have to be savage and ventures for me clinton says revan and star killer have been around longer yes yes they have Ren says, Nita Savage. Yes, dude. That would be so awesome. So awesome. Um, 
Okay, let's get to the next question here. Grand Admiral AJ says, do you have any non 1-6 collectibles you would like to add to your collection that you feel would really enhance your entire collection? I don't really have anything non, let me think, that I would like to add in. Uh, I have already have some stuff. Like I have some video game figures. I have like a Master Chief controller from Halo, you know, like the Master Chief Elite, uh, like the Halo Infinite themed, um, like of his uh, armor. I've got some helmets. So like I've got a Stormtrooper helmet. Uh, I have both the, like the Shadow Trooper and a regular Stormtrooper helmet. I've also got a bunch of Galaxy's Edge stuff, like a built droid, um, like from Droid Depot, and then a couple of their lightsabers. I've got um, like a BD droid from uh, Jedi Fallen Order. So I've already got some kind of stuff that um, that kind of satisfies that need for me. I don't really feel like I have anything else that I need to add in, um, but yeah. Yeah, good question. I yeah, I also have like the like the vintage collection like has lab razor crest. So um one thing I would like to do though is get some wall art. Like I want to get some art. Um I want I want to get like a neon sign right here that has my name. You know, like evil secret uh, neon sign to go. That's why I kind of put this bar, light bar like this so I could put it right under it. I want to do that at some point. I want to just get some wall art for my basement. The walls are kind of bland down here right, for right now, but um yeah. Great question, man. Great question. Next, we got the movie canon Geo, who says, if you were force sensitive, what would be the color of your lightsaber and what would be your Jedi or Sith name? And what type of transportation vehicle would you use? Ooh, this is tough. This is a tough question. I would probably go blue saber. Um... I would go blue or I would potentially maybe just go like a white. I think that'd be, that would be cool to just have like a white saber. Um, yeah, that would be cool, man. Um, it's really tough to pick a color because green is cool too, but what would be my Jedi or Sith name? Dude, I don't even know if I could answer that. I don't know what my Jedi name would be. Um, yeah, I don't know. What type of transportation or vehicle would you use? Hmm. Dude, these are tough, man. I don't even know if I could answer these right now. I don't even know. Um, I would use a ship. Something really fast. Yep. Something really, really fast. Some type of ship. But also you need ground transportation too. So I would probably just use like a really dope speeder. Some type of like custom speeder. There you go. That's all I got. Great question. Uh, we got Brad Cormack in the house with this question. Um, my Kate says Darth Nevitz. Yeah, yeah. Which is my first name spelled backwards. Um, yeah, yep. Or Jedi Nevitz. <laughs> um, MB Dice says that lizard Obi-Wan road in episode three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Um, that's funny. I, uh, it's, actually, it's that, that lizard is in, um, is in one of these, this book, uh, one of this like star Wars block book that I read my kids. Um, that'd be cool. Um, Stacy says, where did you get your awesome cap? This hat, uh, I bought this actually at Star Wars Celebration, but it was just like at a vendor. It was just like at one of the, like, um, one of the booths. But if you go online, I bet if you typed in like, it's a flex fit hat. So it's like got a little bit of like stretchiness to it. If you type in like Star Wars Imperial hat on Google, I'm sure you could find one just like it. Um, I'm sure you could find one just like it. Okay, let me get back to this other one here. Uh, the one Adam 12 says, what Star Wars pre-order are you most excited for? That would be Obi-Wan Kenobi. Both of the Obi-Wan Kenobi releases and then uh, Artisan Anakin, for sure. I'm excited to see what they do with Artisan for Anakin. Yep, yep. <laughs> Grand Admiral Reese, aka the Maul Fiend. How many Mauls is too many Mauls? Why is Maul the greatest character in Star Wars? How did Maul become so awesome? And finally, when did you get so handsome? 
these are all rhetorical so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna answer any of these but uh thank you for the great questions grand admiral reese can you tell this dude is the true mall fiend um and oh brad did i already read this one i think oh i was about to read it and then i got distracted i think um anticipating finally getting root hair in our figure what is the best way to style the hair if mine comes a complete mess any tips or suggestions so usually for styling hair like you can just take a little bit of water and a soft brush um like a soft small toothbrush or something and you can easily style it it's not hard to do um and then another thing is uh there's like this water wax that you can use as well um that's another product i've seen people talk about water wax to just use it's like a water-based thing that, you, that people use for for fake hair um that's uh that's how you do it it's it's relatively simple some people use gel like you can really change up the hair kind of however you want to do it like it's always style like you can style it however you want you just got to be careful with it that's that one um i think i got them all I think that's it um if anybody has any questions shoot them my way because we're about to get done oh my gosh we're at the hour 45 mark um anybody has any questions shoot them my way thank you guys so much for an awesome awesome show tonight um what do i got on my channel uh if you haven't checked it out already you can check out my uh you can check out my review of the mono which is this case from Maju Space, the prototype that's kind of similar to like a it's a cabinet like a detolf or a blaleden from ikea um you can check out my review of the prototype there are going to be changes made to that case for the better so stay tuned for that i'll talk about that when i get some more info but there's some changes in the works that are going to be positive that i think people are going to be really happy with um as well as the price so stay tuned for that I'll update you guys when I find out more information. Uh, what else do I got coming up? Um, uh, I dropped my Umbra Arc Trooper. Um, my Umbra Operative Arc Trooper review from Star Wars Battlefront 2. The Bumblebee Trooper, as people say, or whatever you want to call it. But that review is up. You can go check that out if you haven't already, too. That's on my uh, on my channel. Uh, cool figure. I like that figure. Um, and then I am doing my Batman review, I'm working on it and I should hopefully have it posted either by tomorrow or by Sunday. We'll see how the day goes tomorrow. You never know when you got a couple young kids, you just kind of go with the flow. So, um, we shall see what happens with that. Um, yes the batman review stay tuned so i'm doing a separate batman review and then i do still plan on doing a jazzing batmobile review but i wanted my batman and some other accessories and stuff to put with it when i do my batmobile review so you can kind of see it all together but i'm doing a batman review stay tuned great figure i'm yeah i'm the review is going to be probably one of the longer reviews i've done but it'll be hopefully worth it and i hope you guys enjoy it i wasn't going to do it um a lot of people reached out to me and said like hey really looking forward to you doing the batman review so i was like okay i'm gonna do it i wasn't really motivated all that much to do it and then i opened the box and i was like damn i'm gonna review this thing because this is just incredible so yep um so that's what's coming up that's what's coming up the batman review and then uh yeah you can always catch me on wolfpack wednesdays over on the jedi knights watch channel as always and we'll see. I'll probably do another collector tour uh, interview in the near future as well. Um, Stacy has a good question. Looking for some advice from, from the collectors. The white shirt on my Krennic has a small stain on it. Any ideas on how to clean it if possible? So I have cleaned clothing. What I did was... Um, what I did for my Qui-Gon, so the robe is different because it's kind of like a beige tan color. I used a Tide to Go pen. The tricky thing is that, and you got to, this is at your own risk if you try this because I haven't tried it on anything white. Um, If you can get your finger, like, but so like say, hold on.
say like this is his shirt his clothing i would try to get it to where like if this is a stain on this side you're able to like pinch it on the other side of the clothes like you have your finger your other finger as a backdrop on the material or you can take some like paper towel and like put it on one side and then the front side like you're you're using the pen on the front side but the back side you have a backdrop um this is good advice by clinton tests on a white t-shirt first um and he also says thanks have a great night thank you clinton for tuning in appreciate uh appreciate you man um so you kind of yeah like joe and do a little bit at a time like put a little bit in there and then rub it on there and then um dab, what i did was like i took a paper towel and i like dabbed it with that like to get the the like i used as little liquid as possible when i did it from the tide to go pen you got to be careful because the tide to go pen isn't really like a true stain remover what it does is it kind of dilutes it so use as little as possible and if it dilutes it away you just like i try to pinch it right away with a paper towel to try to absorb all the liquid and hopefully the stain with it because it kind of disperses it if you use too much it can leave like a a water ring around your clothes and then i put a fan on it so you're just gonna have to be really careful with it if you try a tide to go pen and um like i said at your own risk because there's no guarantee it's gonna work um so but that was that's been my experience i just don't want to tell you to do it and then it go uh go poorly but that's what i've tried stacy so that's a good question um white is just yeah it sucks getting stuff stains on white clothes um collection obsession says is the brightness of the mono adjustable because it looks brighter than the other cases yes yeah, so that was one of my kind of big criti critiques about it is the lights are too bright um but the lights are going to include a dimmer actually so they're going to include a dimmer a full um like a full range dimmer so think about them being this uh like this bright like you'll have a dimmer knob that you turn all you can turn it all the way down or all the way up or in between so it'll be a fully adjustable full range dimmer for the mono yep good question uh she says hey thanks i'll give it a try yeah there you go there you go um so yeah stay tuned for the weekend got my bat uh got my uh batman review coming and i think that's pretty much it for now really appreciate you all thank you so much for all the super chats uh congrats to the new channel the gifted channel members from how you figure thank you so much just uh grand admiral justin for becoming a grand admiral and for the two gifteds man really appreciate it uh and shout out to also the new grand admirals of the channel aj and uh thrawn's office really appreciate the support you guys been awesome never would have thought evil empire would have been what it is but let's keep it rolling have a lot of fun chatting with you all um and yeah, love to see the Evil Empire uh, continue to grow. And it's, like I said, just been a blast. And I say it all the time. Hopefully it doesn't get old, but the chat is kind of like what drives my shows when I do these solo shows. I kind of say my stuff, but I want your thoughts. I want to get you guys involved and uh, really appreciate all of you spending time with me on a Friday night. I still think it's crazy. People are willing to come and uh, hang out and just kind of listen to me talk about stuff. So um, thank you all so much. I hope you all have a great weekend. If you're a wrestling fan, enjoy wrestlemania i know i'll be watching uh and until next time thank you everybody and collect carefully